When I first saw this video, it was only the second video I had ever seen of an Omastrophid egg mass, and they're just mind blowing. It is huge and it's full of baby squid. We know that uh, mama squid has these special glands in her body that make jelly and that she mixes that jelly with her eggs in some way and it's concentrated. So when she produces it, it's just a concentrated ball of snot with eggs in it, basically. And we don't know exactly what the chemicals are, but they have some reaction, some ability to absorb water and expand in water. Um, and we've all seen artificial chemicals like that. We've probably played with them in bathtubs and things. Uh, but this is this is nature's version of that. And it just takes up water and takes up water until it gets to this size, probably just a matter of hours. It's familiar to me because I've seen one like it before in Mexico. It's at least as big as, if not bigger, than the one that we found in Mexico. And when we reported that, it was the largest homostrophid egg mass that had ever been reported. They're both um, about car sized. If you think about it, you know, several people could climb inside. So the maximum that we estimated in the egg mass we saw was two million eggs. And if you've got that many eggs that need to develop, they all need to be able to breathe. The eggs need oxygen flowing around them. And what she does is she puts them in this expanding jelly that spreads them out from each other. So they're not too close together. The jelly itself is protective. It seems to protect the eggs from, um, from infection, from bacteria, and probably from predators as well. It's almost completely water. It's very, uh, very delicate matrix of protein, of, of mucus, basically in water. It's just very uncommon for a diver to run across one. What's interesting is that masses themselves are probably not rare because the squid that make them are fairly abundant, but they are so transient. They're so short-lived. They're only, each one is only there for a few days. So the eggs go from being laid to hatching in five days or six days or seven days. And so as soon as that happens and they start hatching and swimming through the jelly, it just disintegrates. There's nothing there anymore. And they swim themselves right out of it and then they're just loose in the ocean. And that's when they get devoured. <laughs>